recording industry wants, of course, to make recordings as efficiently as possible. And uh, if you are constantly improvising, uh, f it makes it, for instance, rather difficult to splice. Because the second time around, you might be in the upper octave instead of the lower octave of the keyboard, and they put those things together, and the, and the, and the music jumps an octave. And, and they need something which is, is relatively uh, straightforward in order for it all to work. And uh, it seems to me that this standardization has produced not just a lack of improvisation, but I think one has to stay it, that a, a, apart from a few extraordinary practitioners, a basic level of music making, which isn't terribly interesting uh, anymore. That many of the performances are interchangeable, they're middle of the road, uh, they are not challenging, they are above all concerned with the outlines of compositions, but not with their inner content. Uh, neither the emotional nor the intellectual uh, uh, fundaments uh, that create all of the uh, inequalities, the dissonances, the stresses, and the strains in this music, from which, by the way, improvisation also uh, originates. Those things are generally not found, because it's risky in every possible way. First of all, it's risky for you, because you might get so carried away by what you're doing uh, that you might uh, play a few wrong notes. But our society has lionized uh, uh, this kind of predictable performance, uh, just the way it has lionized a certain standard in, in uh, shoe polish and toothpaste and, and laundry detergent. We want certain things that are reliable. You go out and buy a record, and the record's got to have, have all of the right notes on it, uh, because, uh, you know, people go into a concert, they say, oh, uh, you know, the record at home sounds really much better. I mean, I don't know why I, I you know, I paid my, my 15 pounds to go to a concert, uh, when in fact uh, I would have been better off just, just listening to that CD I have. Uh, and, of course, if more people were playing in this creative way in the music which requires it, uh, then that issue would never come up. People would say, oh, it's really a pity that I have the CD at home because I just have to hear the same silly thing all of the time and, and not really have a sense that I experience the performance that belongs only to me and only to those who heard it to be treasured forever or to be exchanged with another which I treasure even more, but which is fragile, uh, which is as fragile as this music really ought to be and not capable of replication.